Hi guys, I am so speechless right now. <laughs> I'm like so speechless that I don't even know how, how to, oh, please don't fall. <laughs> um, new tripod, but I have it balancing on like a little box. Okay, um, dude, you guys, <sighs> holy shit. Okay, so let me just say first off that it never ceases to amaze me how freaking amazing our tarot community is online, on YouTube, <laughs> on Instagram, on Twitter. I mean, no matter what social media you use, there is a tarot community on there. Sometimes you'll see the same faces. Sometimes you see completely different readers on the channels or on like the, the Instagram platforms or whatever. Instagram platform as if there's more than one. <laughs> um, so I've been involved in the tarot community since 2012 and it started on, on Tumblr and then I moved to Instagram. I'm touching a little bit more on Twitter now and I've been on YouTube since 2014. So um, I've met some really amazing tarot readers, oracle readers, witches, psychics, whatever you want to call yourselves, healers, oh, ASMRists <laughs> um, who do tarot, which is pretty cool, pretty cool, and astrologers. Um, and I, every once in a while, I'll have one of yous in my DM or sending me an email with some really sweet messages, some really uplifting, supportive messages, some kind words of wisdom, some advice, some, you know, comments, concerns, questions, whatever, all of it. <laughs> and I recently had one of you send me a DM on Instagram and um, you told me that you had found me on YouTube and you started to watch my channel and you love the vibe, you love the videos, you love this and that. And um, you had some, so, <laughs> some sweet stuff to say. And then this person, you guys, told me that they had a deck that I guess they had watched some of my videos and maybe they saw that I'm a Rider Waite fanatic. I learned with the Rider Waite. I love the Rider Waite clones, like all of them, as you could see there. <laughs> I have some back there. Um, and this person sent me a DM saying that they had an extra deck that they would love to gift me. Gift, you guys. <laughs> It's not every day that that happens. And when it does happen, it's the most sweetest thing. And so I wanted to make a video with this moment because I wanted to share this moment with you guys to show you that there's some amazing people in this community. Um, and then also to thank this person because I know that you watch my channel, so you're gonna see this video. <laughs> thank you. So I had just, um, gotten done with doing a part one of some of a client seance reading and I had told my client the doorbell is probably gonna ring because I'm expecting a package and so I told my client if the doorbell rings please excuse me but I'm gonna have to get up and go get the door because I don't want the package sitting on my doorstep too long um, in risk of someone taking it and so um, sure enough <laughs> like halfway into the video someone rang the doorbell and so I got up went and the package was right there and so I opened it after I finished the reading I went and opened it and I'm so I am so touched like I want to cry but I'm not gonna cry so first thing is first um, I'm gonna read the note that this person left that this person left um, so they said Rose Thanks for all of your content. I hope you enjoy the decks. Now, the first deck, the original, no, they sent me two decks, you guys, like two decks. I was only expecting the one. So the one that they told me that they had, that they had an extra of that they wanted to gift to me is, I'm probably gonna totally like not even say the name right, but it's, okay, so it says the tarot. Do you guys recognize what deck this is? Cards that tell people about themselves and their future. Look at the deck. I think it's the hoi, hoi poi. Yeah, hoi poloi, poi, poi oi. <laughs> I can't pronounce it. Um, it's shrink wrapped. Well, 
whatever, saran wrapped, I guess is how you'll say it. <laughs> I have one, this, this deck, when this person messaged me, I was like, oh my God, like, yes, I would love this deck. I was so, like, I was like, is this for real? Is this a joke? <laughs> and so I have been wanting this deck forever. It has been on my wish list. If you search for it, all you could only find it on eBay these days, like eBay or, you know, if someone's randomly selling it on those tarot trade sites on Facebook. Um, it's an out of print deck, obviously. It's from, where are you from? 1973. This deck is literally 10 years older than my husband. <laughs> That's funny. So it's, it's 13 years older than me. Oh my God, it's so magical. It's so old. Look at this. Freaking love it. So oh, I'm so excited, you guys. Oh. <laughs> okay, so let me just open, because I just, I have to do this. Oh my gosh, these cards. I love an old deck. I just love an old deck. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh my God. You are so sweet. Okay. Make sure Starla doesn't eat the wax, the wrapping. Ah! I can't believe I'm holding this deck right now. It is so old. Copyright 1972. <sighs> and then the backs have the key. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this deck floating around. It's on, you could, like I said, you could, you could find it on eBay. Oh my gosh, and they put it in order for me. Thank you. Look at how gorgeous those colors are, you guys. It's like 1970s deck. I mean, come on. Oh my God. I freaking love it. Look at that death card. Oh, it kind of matches my nails. That's hilarious. So yeah, um, look at the sun. Ooh, let's see what the moon looks like. The devil's all hot pink. Sexy, sexy. <laughs> Where's the stun? The st oh my gosh. <gasps> the moon has a female face. I love that. Okay. What other what other card do you guys like to look at? All the all of the um the miners are the same. Let's see what all, out of the majors, what other deck, what other card? The lovers. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe I own this now. Oh, the hermit. Okay. Look at that radiant light coming from his little lantern. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Holy crap. So there's that and then there's the other piece of the, the cards, which I'll open after. <sighs> this little guidebook. Oh my God, look at it, it's just like a little paper pamphlet. Oh my gosh, can you imagine what this was like opening this brand new back in the 70s? Oh, <laughs> I love it, I love it. Oh my God, thank you so much, okay. So then let me continue reading their little letter. Oof, don't want to drop that. Um, so I hope you, okay, I hope you enjoy the decks. I've included a pre-copyright edition of the Yellow Box U.S. Games Rider Waite Smith. <laughs> that, <laughs> that deck, the pre-copyright has also been on my wish list and I think it's been on it's on everybody who loves Rider Waite decks wish list um I I I I don't I've never owned one before I've never owned one before you guys Whew. I was not expecting this like this this alone is freaking amazing and what I saw <laughs> when I saw this I was like holy shit so let's open this gently. Oh my God, I love Rider Waite. It's just like so magical. It's just one of those decks. It's just so magical. Like I can never get tired of the artwork. I love it when it comes in different colors and stuff. 
when people create their own versions of it. But it's just like, the Rider Waite is such a classic for me. <laughs> oh my God. You could just tell that it's a vintage just by freaking looking at it. It is a, it's a vintage because the sword, the belt, the coloring of it. I did research on this deck when I was looking because I was, I've always been, I can't believe I'm holding it right now. I've always been searching on eBay for a copy, a, a non-copyright version. So when they say non-copyright, it means like on the cards themselves, you know, like how it says the little, the copyright thing right there. These don't have it. It's pre-copyright. So it says, reissued in collaboration with Miss Sybil Waite and Writer and Company London, printed in Switzerland by Mueller and CIE. Kai? Mueller and Kai? <sighs> oh, I love it. Oh my God. Okay. So they said, I had an extra and it needed a good home. Keep up the great work and thanks for being my long distance tarot friend. <laughs> I have to send you something now. Oh my God. Okay. I have literally, I have to keep this forever. Like this is, this is such a sweet, this is so sweet. Fuck. Oh my God. Like I'm don't, like, I'm just so afraid of like the box falling apart. Oh, it feels like money. Okay. It's so legit. Holy shit, I can't believe I'm owning one right now. Okay, so <laughs> when you look, you can look up YouTube videos because people have YouTube videos of it. Um, there's always a blank card. So it's a white, just a white card with the plaid backs. Always, there's, but there's always a blank card. Now, I have, let me see if I could pull it out. Oh. Uh, I would have to go digging for it. He's in one of those baskets. So I have a vintage Rider Waite, but it ain't vintage like this. My Rider Waite is like, it was, it has the copyright, um, but it's like, it's, they still use Pamela's, Pamela's um, handwriting. So, so, so these newer Rider Waite decks, they took away Pamela's handwriting, her original handwriting, and it's just typewriter. If you, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed it, but if you own a right away, check out, look out your, look at your deck, and if you have the text like this, that's Pamela's original handwritten, like her own handwriting, which is so. I feel like that is so so precious. Um, but the newer decks, the newer writer weights, it's typed. So they took away her writing and then they also add the copyright, which is usually on the corner. But as you can see, these don't have it. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. So let me show you like, like the Ace of Cups. See, it's Pamela's writing and there's no copyright. Oh. And it's funny because the, the deck that I have that is my like most vintage of the Rider Waits feels like this, like it feels matte. It literally feels like money, but it has the copyright. So this is so magic. This is so magic. Oh my gosh. Thank you. 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 Thank you so much. So, 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 so much. <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay, let's see. Where's my little fool? Where are you? I get to sit and put these in order. I love it. Oh my God, I just love it. I don't know how you guys are. Like the hermit. Look at how gorgeous that blue is. Oh, the, the colors are muted in this one. They're not like, they're not like in your face yellows and blues like in the new decks. <laughs> Which there's nothing wrong with it, but... Come on, like when they're more muted, it's just so much better. Um, I like to pull out my decks and just put them in order. Like that's like one of my favorite things to do is to just put the deck in order. <laughs> Here's the full. 
tá bom. Okay, I'm so happy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and then there's this little bag here. What's inside? What's inside? What is inside? My bag. <gasps> what is this? Oh, crystals. It looks like it's a little bowl. Oh, with rose quartz, clear quartz, and I think this is amateur. No, is it amateur? It looks like a little homemade bowl. I think this is um. No, it's not amateurine. Amateurine is the amethyst one. This is um. Oh my God! How come I aventurine? <laughs> Beautiful. Some clear quartz. So the decks were completely charged completely charged while they were on their way here. Thank you so much. Oh my God. <laughs> what a sweet, what a sweet gesture. Seriously. Like this person didn't have to do this. For one, they, they honestly, they didn't have to do this. And the fact that they had extra, an extra, you know, an extra of these amazing babies and they were just gifted it is like, it just blows my mind. Because not, a, not everybody would be willing to do that. Seriously. Um, so, just so you know, your reading will be on its way. I will be working on it this weekend. Um, <laughs> because that's literally the least that I could do. But, oh my God, I am so... I just can't believe that I have these decks now. And I can't wait to go through them and just admire and cleanse them. And add them to the shelf. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so thank you for tuning in. I just wanted to show that with you guys soon. But I got to go ahead and record part two of my client's seance video reading. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, loves. And also tell me, what is your most vintage deck that you own? What is your, do you own a, an out of print deck? What is it? Um, and if you could have any tarot deck in the world, what would it be? Or answer, do you own these decks? Tell me. Comment below and tell me. Let's share our wish lists with everybody. <laughs> All right, you guys. I will talk to you guys later.